I'm sorry. I'm Andrew Munford. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thanks for coming in so quick, too. Yeah. Obviously, you're not under arrest, so you can leave whenever you want. Um, anytime we bring someone to interview room, we make, we make right. sure that they know mm -hmm. that. I know you talked to Val O'Brien, one of my colleagues. Yeah, right, right, right. Yeah. right. What I want to talk to you is um, kind of go back to that situation, sure. and I know that you guys had sorry, papers on this, talked about maybe redoing some practices right. and things in relation to that. Um, reference that situation. What do you recall about that investigation? Right, that um, 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 had you know concerns over the form of treatment that I was doing. And then I talked about having to do um, the reasons why I did it, you know, I mm -hmm. mean, from a manual medicine standpoint. And um, there was a student that was in the room that had to leave to start because I was behind. You know, mm -hmm. to start another patient. And so we're like, you know, always have another person in the room. Right. You know what I mean? And I've been trying to adapt my techniques so we won't get into the same situation. Okay. Um, what practices have you changed in response I've to I've been to have, trying to have people in the room, okay. you know. Um, and... Uh, uh, trying to obviously not to get into that same situation. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, has there been another complaint? I'm just like confused right now. Well, we're kind of seeing what what things have changed, what practices. Okay, yeah. Um, so I, I'm like, I've, I'm trying to do things where it's the difficulty is with the hands-on is I'm trying very hard to do things where I'm not being nearly as invasive, but it, it compromises things. Mm -hmm. So I am trying to modify that and having students there and having family members there and I document in the chart, you know, so and so's in the room, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So my documentation's changed. Um, I'm gonna try my best to do it over close. Um, and that's sometimes the, the hard thing is the tightness, you know what I mean? It's like the close gets in the way, yeah, yeah. you know? Um, but so I'm, I'm very, there's not a day that goes by that I don't think about that, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because that was a very scary, Thing you know in my okay. life you know obviously so right. and I don't want to get into it so I was like oh my god what what happened you know I mean like my heart is hurting you know it's like what what the heck you know what I mean so um, I, I hope you know that I've made the appropriate changes mm -hmm. you know because mm -hmm. it's you know and I've done a lot of education you know I'm really trying hard at educating so that I you know uh, and I always thought I was good at educating but I'm trying to educate even more mm -hmm. you know to what do you mean by educating? explaining what's what, what okay. we're doing to the right. patient to or the patient others? family you know okay. exactly right. you know. Um, have you had any instances where there hasn't been anyone in the room for an exam so there's, that there's, there, there'd be some, some on occasion, of course. Okay. You know what I mean? That just is the way that with medicine is now. It's difficult. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So yes, that has happened. In what um, circumstances cause that to happen? Um, the patient is an adult, you know, like okay. what she was too. But again, when I'm doing that, I'm, I'm <coughs> trying not to do those techniques. You know what okay. I mean? So, mm -hmm. um, but I'm trying to, try, you know, like really trying to explain things. And I haven't had any complaints. Okay. You know what I mean? During that technique, though, was there been Situations where someone's not in the room. I would probably there's who's a doctor. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean. Um, you do that technique. On um, she said it saved her career. You know what I mean. So mm -hmm. she was just in today. Can you explain the technique? I I I don't think it's easy. And, and, and sent her videos. You know mm -hmm. too. I mean, like yeah. that's all. I lecture on this. That's the thing that's frustrating. Is um so. You know, the sacral tubers, like, mis there's, it runs from the pubic symphysis, the falciform process, it, it runs, it's like the pelvic floor, okay? okay? Mm -hmm. You want to understand that, that stuff. So you're really coming in, like, the way I describe it, you know, even in some of the videos is, it's like you go towards the labia and go lateral. So you're going in and apart, okay? okay. And then that there's muscles that attach to the ligament. And so as you're treating that, you can feel the release, and that's a great teaching thing, too. It's like I have the student, feel their rib cage, okay, and then I go and I release that, and they're like, oh my god, what did you just do, you know what I mean, because they can feel that effect, mm -hmm. you know, from the way that the iliacostal muscle, iliacostal stress runs down from the rib cage into and entwined in the um, uh, uh, sacral tuberous ligament, you know. So when you're doing that, and you said you, you look for the release, what are you right. feeling, like what does... You feel tissue tension. Okay. Tissue right. tension changes, it's all, all right. about tissue tension. 
Right? And so you're trying to, like if, if I pour on one part, you know what mm -hmm. I mean, like you can see how that affects another part. Right. So it's the same thing like a run in the pantyhose or something like that. You know, like one pole here can affect, and we talk about triplaning and fascial releases where, say if I rotate, extend, and back, you know what I mean, that like wringing out a towel. You know what I mean? So there's, you know, you, you, you may have to go clockwise, counterclockwise. I always talk about the different vector forces it is to make the effect above. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's a um, uh, three-dimensional, you know, tri mm -hmm. I call it triplane, but like a three-dimensional effect to it because it's not just that simple. You know right. what I mean? So. Gotcha. Okay. Um, now, how long have you been doing this technique? I have video from 30 pounds ago, um, from, like the, from like the 1990s. I'm trying to remember, mm -hmm. it would have been in the 1990s, you know what I mean, like early yeah. 1990s. Right. You know, and that's, I've made videos very clear, you know what I mean, and I've lectured, oh yeah, you know, and I've lectured. And Are those online anywhere? They're on my G drive, like I said, that, okay. I've, that I've sent. You, you, you guys yeah, should yeah. have all of that. Dropbox. Or yeah, no, it was a. I mean, it might have been Dropbox then. Back then. Yeah, just a few yeah. Years ago. yeah. Um, so, how would a patient be laying to get that treatment? Prone, and then um, they're lay prone, you know, and then you're doing that. And then I can do it seated. I talk about doing seated. I can do it standing. I can do it um, supine. So, yeah, you can do it. But, but would they be on their side? On their side? Yeah. Yeah, you can do it on the side too. I mean, like I, I show them in all the different directions, but it's it's rarely on the side. It's more um, if I'm doing something on the side, that's more for the SI joint. That's 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 the SI joint. What's the SI joint? Sacroiliac. Okay. Right here. You okay. know, so that's where I might be like lifting. You actually sometimes like lift the, the hemi pelvis. Okay. okay, and so, so where on their body would you touch your, the water? Your would be, if your hands are like this, you know what I mean, mm -hmm. you could be actually holding that, like, this would be up towards the, the back, and this would be up towards the pubic symphysis, mm -hmm. and you would be, could be like a U-shape, and you can lift and shift um, from that position on the sideline. Um, generally, with the sideline, um, uh, that's that's the, the lift and shift, and the coccyx, you know, if, it, if there's a coccygenia, you know, problem, then sideline. You know, can can be treated side okay. All right, but you wouldn't like if somewhere on the side, you wouldn't be doing the same. It'd be a alteration. Yeah, it'd be a variation. You okay. got to adapt, like just like standing. You know right. what I mean? Like so, you change it because of the three-dimensional vector forces, depending upon whether they're what mm -hmm. position they're in, it's going to have a different effect. So normally, you try it one way, and one way doesn't work. Then you try to, like, you know, see it. You know what I mean? Because of the the way that you can affect. And I try to teach them if it works. I've taught a lot of patients how to do it themselves. Okay. You know what I mean? Like self-treatment. Like okay, it, I told them it's like giving themselves a hand wedgie. You know, it's like reach and pull, reach and pull. Like you're picking a wedgie, you grab and then you pull off to the side or you pull front or, you know, one of those three main vector forces is. Okay. Um, would this ever involve, like, digital anal penetration? Only if we're doing a um, coccyx, you know, okay. problem. You right. know what I mean? So if there's a fractured coccyx or a, uh, um, you know, uh, a coccyx disorder okay. too, you know, so that you can you can come perianal because it comes up, you know, when you have that the pelvic floor attachments, but you're going to be you can come to the pubic symphysis and also towards towards the coccyx, okay. you know. I mean, so it's your lift. I call it the lift and shift, you mm -hmm. know, when you're doing that, you know. So that's a very um, the uh, common to do one side or the other, and that's the straightforward. So like if you're if you're here here or here. There's three different vectors and that would be the straight vector. Like if I'm doing ribs a mm -hmm. lot, you know, then, then I would be going straight. Okay. All right. Um, well, the reason I'm asking is that we did have another complaint. Really? Yeah. And um, it's a patient from a while ago. Okay. But And she does describe um, some things that sound to me like they're out of the norm okay. from your typical treatment. Okay. Um, this would have been in... Wow. Okay. Um, and she was receiving some of that type of treatment, okay. but then there were also some other um, ways she, that she was touched that okay. she could be on the treatment. Okay. So that's why I'm asking about anal you know, penetration. Only if there'd been coccyx, and I would have, and, and it would have been, I mean, like, because you can push hard. There's a lot of room down there, but I went to long intra rectal. You okay. know what I mean? Like, unless, unless I was purposefully treating the coccyx itself. Okay. You know what I mean? And would your what would you use to do that? Like, what digit or what part of your hand would you use? Well, normally I'm using my thumbs, unless okay. I'm coming up this way. You know what I mean? Okay. And then if I, if I actually have to fix a coccyx, 
um, then I'm going to be using my finger uh, inside and my thumb on the outside. Okay. You know, to, to do manipulate you the coccyx. If I'm going to go in, in try, yes. Okay. You know what I mean? You right. know, so. Um, I, you know, this was a long time ago, so I don't know how many of your patients that you remember from back right. there. Yeah, I, I don't, I mean, you know, how many patients, mm -hmm. right, 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 right. Yeah, no, I, I, I don't remember, you know. Right. You know. Oh. Well, well it's a little bit of a personal question, so yeah. I'll just be totally honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. you have these young girls in there, they're right. athletes. They're, right, they, but they're, they're, they're usually with their parents. They're usually oh, with yeah. their, you know, parents, uh -huh. you know. So that's why I explain a lot. Right. Um, they're yeah. athletes. They have right. lovely figures. Right, right, they're right, right. Curls. right. Do you ever get aroused during these exams? Do I get aroused during the exam? Yeah, but do you ever get an erection? Well, or, I mean, obviously you don't, you know what I mean? Okay. So I, I, Is there a reason that you would during an exam? I shouldn't be getting an erection during an exam. But, uh, right. Well, this is why I'm talking to you about this, yeah. because this young girl and her mother both observed this on more than one occasion during treatment. That it would get aroused during mm -hmm. exam. Visibly, an erect penis, not exposed, but through your clothes. I, I can't explain that because that should when, I, when I'm working, I'm working. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I don't. Well, you can understand why this would be well, yeah. for a concern. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. You know that you did wear gloves. Right. Okay. But I mean, when I when, but I was like doing her coccyx. Mm -hmm. Actually, digitalize the 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 coccyx like for for coccyx treatment. Mm -hmm. The words that she used were his. He anally penetrated me with his thumb. No, see that that would have been. See, I would never do that for the coccyx. I would use my. If I'm going inside, I'm using this. If I'm penetrating, it's not penetrating. It's pushing off to the so side. I penetrated her. Oh. Okay. Um, Again, this was some time ago. Yeah, and, but I'm, I'm lifting up, and 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 I mean, it's not it's not going inside her rectum. It's okay. lift. You can get a lot of there's a lot of of, of 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 soft tissue there, you know, and you're lifting through there. It's I would not have I would be wearing gloves if I actually and I would be using this finger. Okay, okay? when I'm using okay. my thumbs, I'm lifting. You know, mm -hmm. what I mean, to try and separate the tissue and releasing through there. You know, I'm, I'm, and this I'm, is very what you're describing to me is very dis different than how she's describing her experience. Okay. All right. Okay. That there well, was an explanation of what you were doing to her or to her mother, um, and so you can see kind of the consistency well, yeah. from what happened a couple of years ago. Well, no, but okay, okay, but I mean, okay, I'm, I'm. But I would be, I mean, like, that's why I have so many lectures and stuff. I mean, like, that's what people are known for is my education. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I don't. Your education to? To students. To students, right. but not necessarily to patients. patients. Well, I, I try to. You know what I mean? I mean, like, I am. I'm like, I, and, I, and I, I've never had anyone, you know, I, what I'm, what's confusing me to me about is, why wasn't there anything said back when I was treating them if they felt that uncomfortable? You know what I mean? It's like if I'm talking to the patient... Okay, put yourself being a teenage girl. Okay. All right? Okay. Most people that are sexually assaulted uh -huh. are very uncomfortable. They don't know what to say. Okay. They're in a position where they feel... But the parent, the, the parent was right there. You said the mom was there? She was in a, a, a different part of the room. She couldn't observe. It's just... It's, I mean, it's a, it's a night like, lab, it's an exam room, a different part of the room, it's the same well, room. Right behind where you were. Okay. But, but I, I don't think that really the focus is, why is it being brought up now? I think well, the focus know, I'm is just trying to think of what, that what, it has been brought up, right, that there are right. discrepancies in what she's right. telling me as compared to the technique that you're describing. Well, yeah, but I'm, I'm trying to think of, I mean, you know, this is what I'm trying to think of what I would have been doing differently. That's a long time ago, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, for me to... To remember everything, but there, there would be, like I said, what the discrepancy would be is I'm using my thumbs. That's not a discrepancy to release around the coccyx, mm -hmm. okay? Where I'm actually lifting, okay? So that's what I said. If I'm actually, if I'm treating through sacral tubers and not the actual, because I'm trying to um, uh, uh, release the tissues that come up to attach there, so I am pushing hard, okay, mm -hmm. with my thumbs, okay, and I'm separating. Okay, so if, if you have thumbs over there and you're separating, but I'm not going in, if you're going inside to, to you're going to be using your finger, okay, not your thumbs. And that's the, that's, 
that's consistent with what I'm saying with what she said. So if I'm if I'm saying yes, that I'd be using my thumbs. How's that incons how's that inconsistent? Well, if your fingers and pardon me, gesturing right. are doing some type of well, my fingers are up here. My thumbs are at the coccyx. Well, that's not what she's describing. Right now. Your fingers are vaginally penetrating her. What? And then your thumb huh? anally penetrates her. No. So I don't see where that falls in line with that technique. Right, and I don't see how that would be accurate. More than once. Or more than one treatment. I, I, I'm just working the floor, you know what I mean? But I would not be, how would I be putting my th thumb and, 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 and fingers? You know, like that. That's that would not be correct. You know, I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I am. Um, now, if there's some type of treatment where she's on her side, would you have any reason to touch her breast? If I'm treating ribs, so if I'm treating ribs, I that's that. See, that must have been like I said. I would have been pushing and, and touching ribs. Okay. How would and you touch her breast to do the ribs? I mean, demonstrate move, on yourself. Right, you're moving out of the tissue out of the way. You're moving the tissue out of the way to try and get down between the breast and the and the rib. Okay, so mm -hmm. you're you're lifting and shifting again because you're moving the tissue out of the way. So if I'm if I'm moving tissue out of the way, I got to get down to where the, the where I'm making contact you know, with the rib, okay? So you try and move and adjust, okay? Or the same thing here, if I'm on the, the head coming down, you're pushing down. Or if you're off to the side, you're pushing off to the side. But you're, you're you know, there's ribs that are underneath that area. So you're trying to slide through and across. Hey, that and makes then, sense. Right, 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 right. But this girl saw you five times. Uh -huh. And all five times there was something that, with her knowledge of what that treatment was, because she had some knowledge of it, uh -huh went beyond that, the okay. you know, touching of her, the digital penetration of her anus, mm -hmm. um, touching of her boob, and she could visibly see at that time that you had an erection, okay. that you were aroused. Okay, she describes your your demeanor, your behavior, your physical reactions, and being able to see an erection. Okay. Okay. So, you know, I know it was a long time ago. Right. I'm here to get your side of the story because right. this is very concerning. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, I, I, I try my best to be appropriate, professional, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And I have no understanding of, of why that would be occurring, okay? Like, um, yeah, I mean, you know what I mean? But... Has it ever happened in an exam or treatment before? Have it, you know, I mean, you, 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 you are, you know, I mean, I'm focused on my treatment. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not, I'm not trying to gain any type of sexual pleasure out of working with my patients. Okay, I mean, that's that's what you're that's what you're trying to ensue or whatever. That's what I'm mean? asking you. Right, and I'm saying I'm no, asking. I don't get sexual pleasure out of working with my patients. That's that's not what being a physician is. Not what I'm about. Okay, what I'm trying to do is is release tissue and work through them, but I'm not I'm not trying to get my, you know like my jollies out of this. Mm -hmm. Okay. So explain to me like when you're doing an exam, is it I mean is it physically taxing on you? Yes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Man, your medicine is physically tax, tax, taxing. Yes. You know what I mean? That is mm -hmm. it. There is no question about that. You know what I mean? Because you're you're moving body parts and you're pushing and you're you're really and for me, it's a lot of cerebral where I'm trying to um, uh, uh, visualize where the fascia is going, you know, and pushing and moving, okay? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I'm, I'm working my best to try and allow that treatment process to, to occur, and you're feeling, you're really trying to feel what's happening in, in the tissue, okay? And yes, you're moving tissue out of the way. You're, 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 you're pushing in and separating. Okay, and you're trying to feel with with one hand you're pushing, with the other hand you're monitoring to sense what's happening at the other end, and then you can uh, um, compress and mobilize. But to, um, I mean, so I could see how people could feel because you're, you know, there's a lot of tissue, and I'm separating. But you know, I'm trying to explain things why I'm doing things. You know, are you okay? Does that make it feel better? You know, like when I push, I'm like, does that feel better? Is that helping? You know what I mean? Am I pushing too hard? Um, I'm constantly discussing that with them. You know what I mean? Like, does so it what help? What would you say prior to doing this treatment? What would I say prior to doing the treatment? Um, You're right. at a doctor, someone that you trust, and right. all of a sudden, his fingers are essentially in your vagina. What? And with right. no explanation. 
I would have explained it. I don't understand why she said I didn't explain it because I always explain. Okay, now you're going to feel like pressure. But you didn't explain it two years ago. Yes, I did. I well. I, I mean, two years ago she reported pretty quickly after it happened. She's mm -hmm. not going to forget right, that right, she received right, right. An, ex an explanation. But I do explain. You know what I mean? That's mm -hmm. what I'm saying. Is like you know, I don't. It, it, that's my my. I'm like okay, I'm putting pressure, compressing, separating. You know what I mean? Like I'm gonna, you know, my hands are gonna be pressing on you here, and I'm gonna be pushing off to the side, or you know, if this is if this hurts, let me know. You know, but I'm treating it and just talking at the same time. You know what I mean? So I'm, as I'm going through it, it's not like I sit and explain everything to start with and then go do it. I'm talking through it too. You know what I mean? It's like, how does that feel? I'm try I'm getting real time feedback from mm -hmm. them. Okay, so as, as I'm as I'm doing it, like you know, if, is this hurt? Are you okay? You know, is that feeling better? Okay, so it's not like it's a dead silence and I'm just doing things. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean, I'm I'm constantly talking, you know, with them to mm -hmm. get feedback. Okay, did the same thing about that, you know. But that's that's what I do. I'm constantly talking. You know, does that make it feel better? Make it feel worse? And I'm adjusting based upon that. Would there be? A situation that you um, wouldn't wear gloves during an exam like that? If I'm, if I'm, if I'm, you know, like, um, I will wear gloves if I'm actually like manipulating the the, the, the coccyx. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because you're going into rectal. Mm -hmm. you know what what I mean? if you're going vaginally or even just outside? Well, if I'm just outside, no. You know what I mean? Yeah, I even say that on the thing. You know, as long as you're staying external, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Because you're external, mm -hmm. okay? And you're you're sensing, you're you're using to push, to lift and shift. You know, because you're staying. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like I'm, you're 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 staying lateral to that. So you're you're pushing in central and then lateral, okay? So, but but uh, I, I I you know, so if you're if you if if you have like the vagina here and you come in here pushing. You can see how you could, you know, like feel, or they may have the, as a teenager having that sensation. But I, but I'm not going intravaginally. I'm going extravaginally, but pushing in through the the pelvic floor. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is the pelvic floor. You know, what I mean, you're here and coming over. There's tons of room there. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so that's what I'm saying is like that. That as I'm doing that, I'm asking them. You know, are you okay? You know, am I pushing too hard? You know, is this hurting? You know, what I mean, do you feel better up there? Am I monitoring hand? Do you, know you ever ask them if it feels good? Feel better, better or worse? You know what I mean? Does that feel better? You know what I mean? Are you doing okay? It's always better, you know, because I'm trying to see. Okay, do I need? Remember, I said about the different adjustments. Mm -hmm. Because do I need to go this way, this way, or that way? It's based upon how they're how they're responding and how I'm sensing the the release. Because I can sense the release, but can I can't sense their pain. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And are you okay? You know what I mean? I, that's the thing that that's very irritating to me. You know, is that if I'm asking the patient. You know, for feedback while I'm doing it, I, that's why that's that's how I always feel like I'm okay because I'm like, are you okay? Are you okay? You know, like you're you're talking in real time. Mm -hmm. You know, with them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Am I pushing too hard? Is this hurting? You know, like this because I'm you know you don't want to push too hard to hurt them. You know what I mean? So you know, does that feel better? Feel worse? You know what I mean? And then they respond. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? I mean, I hope. You know what I mean? So, but that's that's what is frustrating to me is trying to get an understanding of. Of why there wasn't, why there was that lack of communication, you know. Fear. And, but when you're talking to them in real time, you know what I mean? Like, like I'm, I'm asking their feedback. But, but, but in, in a situation I, where you were talking and they didn't know what you were going to do to them because they had no prior explanation, I mean, would a girl that young speak but, up? When you're trying, if she's I'm wondering trying, I'm if trying. she's not feeling okay. But she thinks it should be okay, and thinking about it later, then she realizes that it was not okay with her. I mean, there's yeah, lots I mean, of reasons why people I mean, I can, I, mean I, can, I, can, I can see that, you know, but that's, but I... And then seeing that you're erect, and feeling, on more than one occasion, and feeling very uncomfortable. Yeah, well, it'd be nice if I had, you know, whatever, I mean, I can't speak for her, but if they... If the parent also and her felt that, it'd be nice if there was some communication where I'm asking for communication. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, but that's. And we can't go back to having right, that. Right, 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 but right, right. this situation as it is, I mean, there are some things that, even to me, hearing you explain it one way and hearing how she explained receiving the treatment would right. be very different. You know, I'm mean, trying to. 
Awesome. Trying to explain it, you know, I mean, the best that I can. Right. You know, I mean, it's, I'm, I'm trying. But to for her, she very vividly, you've done it hundreds, maybe right, thousands right, of times. Right, 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 right. For her, she did it five times, and it's very vivid to her. Okay. How she received the what treatment. you presented as treatment, what yeah. she felt very yeah. different as. Okay. And, and did she ever make any... I would assume not, otherwise I would know, you know, like, concerned, you know what I mean? Like, did I ever, like, ask her something and, and say, like, does this hurt, and then not adjust it or not listen to what she was saying? You know what I mean? Like, like the feedback. Would I respond to her feedback? And was she getting, was she telling me she was getting better? Well, then, yeah, I mean, that's... Because that's how I, you know, I'm trying to, I'm asking, you know, like mm -hmm. for feedback, I want to know, you know what I mean, am I, am I helping, am I not helping, you know what I mean, and that's, that's, and, and it's made, like, like I said, even with, um, uh, uh, the, 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 be able to be able to continue standing and walking mm -hmm. and doing our job, you know what I mean, it's, it's, it is very personal, you know what I mean. And that's also received very different when you're doing it on someone from the medical profession right. who is, has a lot more knowledge of what you're going to do. Right, 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 right. I, 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 I can't, I can't talk about something I don't know the situation, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, like from, from that long ago, but, mm -hmm. but that's what I, try I do this all the time you know I talk to people I'm trying to get feedback and I'm trying to go off of their feedback mm -hmm. you know and um, and I and there's like this this trust too on my part of that I'm trusting them to tell me if I'm hurting them if I'm pushing too hard mm -hmm. are they getting better you mm -hmm. know what I mean like that's that's part of the um, the only way that I can really know, you know what I mean, it's like, is by having the feedback, you know what I mean, and I hope they said that, that I was asking them and trying to, to ascertain how their, how their comfort level is, you know what I mean? In, in some ways. You know, because that's, if I, the last thing I want to do is hurt someone, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, and so if you're concerned because you're in their private area and you're asking them questions, and if they're not giving you the feedback, then how do you know that you're, if you're saying, am I hurting you, and they say no, then how do I know that I'm hurting them, you know what I mean, and, and, I'm, and I'm trying to be realistic with them, you know what I mean? And, and I understand that in a treatment, but in a different situation, and I think what concerns me here is the visible signs of your arousal, where this right. young girl is afraid. Right. Well, I, I don't want people to be afraid, obviously, and I was trying to, you know, with my patients, I'm trying to actually help them, not hurt them, mm -hmm. okay? You know what I mean? That's, and that's, you know, um, uh, that's the bottom line, I guess you could say, you know what I mean? Is that, that's my goal, you know what I mean, is to help them, mm -hmm. not to hurt them. You and know so, I mean? just to clarify, you're saying that during these, if it's these treatments where you're dealing with, um, young to old teenage girls who are very physically fit, very mm -hmm. attractive, right. that you don't get aroused when you're right. touching. I mean, you're essentially touching their genitalia, right. you're touching right. their breasts. Right. 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 I, I, if, you know, I'm not purposely trying to, to get arousal from doing any treatment. I mean, come on. You know what I mean? I'm not purposely trying to, 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 to gain some type of, of sexual gratification out of doing that. That's, mm -hmm. not, that's not what I'm doing. Okay, that's that. You know, if there was uh, arousal, it's it's it's. I mean, like it, it would be because of whatever. I don't know, but I'm not trying to. Well, you know, I mean, whatever. I, just, I don't well, know. Well, I don't you know. know. When you're a guy, sometimes you get an erection. You know what I mean? But I don't. It's. That's well, you get an erection like, when you're aroused. Yeah, you know, but you know, you know what I mean? Like I'm just saying that you know, you you you. Um, uh, I'm not trying to, I'm, how do you say this, um, and if if I had an erection, I understand why I would have an erection from doing the treatment, you know what I mean, from what I'm doing, okay, mm -hmm. um, um, and that's rather embarrassing, you know what I mean, it would it, be rather embarrassing, okay, I mean, to have that happen, okay, so it's just like, you know, that's, that's not appropriate, okay, and I don't, that's, that is, um, um, 
just not professional. You know what I mean? It's I don't know how else to explain it, but that's you know yes, you're a guy, you know, but but you know I'm trying to not and yes, they're young ladies, but it's but I'm trying my best to be professional. You know what I mean? That's why I'm talking with them too. Is I want that feedback. I need that feedback because I, if I don't, then how do I know that I'm her? You know, if I'm if I'm in their area and I'm talking to them and asking them. You know what I mean? It's constantly asking them. You know what I mean? Like, then, then I feel like, okay, they're giving me the positive feedback. If they're not, I adjust. You know what I mean? So how can you not adjust? If, if someone is telling you you're, you're okay, how do you know you're not okay? Mm -hmm. I mean, like, if you're getting real time, are you okay? Is this helping you feeling better? Okay? And then if they say, so, and, you know, if, if I'm not getting that feedback, how do I know that I'm not... Uh, if, but then they find out that I'm hurting them. That's 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 bad feedback. That's not what you know. I mean, what I'm. Do you do a similar adjustment or technique on um, male yes. teens? Yes. 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 Exactly. Whether they're male or female, it doesn't yeah. matter. You know what I mean? It's that's the same thing. You know, because you're still having to treat the sacral tubus or what have you. Yes. I mean, whether it's a male or female. Okay. Yes. You know, and it's just the the the. the um, say the thing that is most frustrating is that the, um, the the amount of conversation that I'm trying to have with the patient to, to try and prevent this from happening okay is is important and if I'm asking a patient is are you you know does this hurt or, or is it helping? You know what I mean. And and they don't tell me the truth. How do I know then that I'm hurting them? Mm -hmm. When I'm, I'm doing this real time, you know what I mean. Like I want that feedback, and I just based upon the feedback. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's I think that's the part that that I'd like to you know have some information about. You know what I mean. It's like if I if th 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 that's the whole protective mechanism, so that I'm not harming someone. Mm -hmm. You know, so that there's real-time feedback. Right. Okay. I understand what you're saying about the feedback, but I think there's a difference between like, physically hurting someone and then them feeling touched inappropriately. Right, but that... And I think that's a different scenario of a comfort level to give feedback. But that's hurting, though. I mean, but that's hurting. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, if you're doing something inappropriate, that's hurting. That's not helping. You know what I mean? Well, hurting mentally. But it may not be causing the physical pain to give you physical pain feedback. Yeah, I mean, but if, but there's a comfort level. You know, if you're doing something and, and you're asking them. Have you, you ever know, had someone do something that made you feel uncomfortable and you doubted saying anything? No, you know, like, like you mean like... Anything. It doesn't have to be physically anything. Where you thought, I don't feel right about uh -huh. this. Yeah, I you don't get know to, what yeah, I you get your gut feeling. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I see what you're and saying. And your there. instinct was probably correct. You know, your gut. Well, you know what I mean? But that, I, you know, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm just saying, yeah, you, you have your, your, your sense, you know. I mean, everyone has like a sense about them, you know, but. I was going to give you a business card, and I realized that I don't have any in the book. Where I want to give you a moment to think and see if you have any other questions for me. Yeah, yeah. I just I I want to know what's 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 going to happen. You know what I mean? Like I'm I, I I'm I'm very. I think obviously. similar to last time. Obviously, the university has to be notified. I right. have no control over right, that. Right, right, right. Um, so I'm sure there will be conversations with your dean or whoever, right, right, however right. that looks. I'm right. sure you're familiar with that process. I'm, wow. yeah. We don't get super involved in, in those processes. Right. But, um, and then I will continue to investigate. Um, okay. There will be other witnesses to talk to, things like that. Okay. Um, and so, like last time, there will be an investigation. Right. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm gonna go grab a card. Just to get my information. I'll be right back. Okay.
you will return business. Before I forget, I'll give you one of those in the email, okay. and I'll put the phone number that I left for you. But, um, I don't know how to explain it more than what, you know, I mean, like, you know, I can't go back in time and remember that far, mm -hmm. okay? But I, I'm telling you, honestly, you know, it is, I'm trying my best to help the patient. I'm trying to get real-time feedback from them, okay? Mm -hmm. And and I've helped so many people, you know, that, that it, it, it just, it hurts my brain to think that somebody would, as I'm talking to them, I just don't get it, because I'm trying to prevent that. I don't want to hurt someone, so I'm trying to get real time. Am I, you know, am I helping, am I not helping, and I try and adjust based upon what they're saying. And so it, 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 it is, it's hurtful for me to think that that, you know, that, I, that I've hurt someone. You know what I mean? That's mm -hmm. just not who I am, okay? And I'm trying my best to, to figure out how I didn't read the situations, you know, because because that's, you know, I mean, you're trying to assess comfort level, you know, too, and, and um, I obviously offended her, you know, I mean, there's no question, and that's, and, and that's, that's not good, you know what I mean, and, and I don't want to offend anyone, you know what I mean, that's the, that's not the intent, that's not the purpose, it, it, and, and I'm trying to do the feedback to, to know if I'm making a difference or not, you know, and, 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 and so I usually leave feeling good because I'm helping someone, you know what I mean? What would you say if I told you that there may possibly other be other complaints? I mean, that's, I, I'm doing this treatment a lot, you know what I mean, so, you know what I mean? But I, why would there be those consistent complaints? You work down there a lot, you know what I mean? If I'm working there a lot, Okay, what's gonna? But if repeated girls are saying that you're not explaining the process and that. But I, I, I feel well. I feel I'm explaining the process. They may not be understanding it, but I think I was explaining the process. You know what I mean? Like I'm, if I'm explaining it and they're not understanding it, then you would expect that they ask for more. Have you had other complaints from patients? No, just the the one. Um, uh, You know, but you know, if but if yeah, I've had to explain things to patients. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, but but if they afterwards said, I feel like you invaded my no, no, space, I've, no, but I no, no, violated. No, 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 nothing like that. Okay. About how many times do you think you've done this procedure? Could be thousands, you know, over the years, because it's been a long time. You know what I mean, that I've been doing it, you know, so, you know, like I said, I, I lecture on it, and mm -hmm. it is, it is invasive, and I'm trying to explain things, and that's what, that's what bothers me is that, you know I mean, if I'm talking to people and asking them, you know, for, it's, uh, um, for their feedback, you know what I mean, and if I'm getting feedback that's in, that says it's okay, then it's okay, you know what I mean, it's like I'm asking, like, permission, you know, am I pushing on you too hard, is it hurting, you know what I mean, and I'm adjusting, you know what I mean, and so that's the that's the concern that I have is like, you know. So I, I it, this is just it just it hurts me to think that I'm not that 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 by talking to my patients and trying to interact with my patients that that I'm saying one thing and they're telling me something but they're afraid to tell me the truth. You know what I mean? And that's that's hard. Okay, mm -hmm. that they're afraid to tell me the truth. It's like, well, what's you know, like. Just give me the feedback, you know, and I adjust. You know what I mean? That's the whole thing is 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 getting that adjustment. You know, I mean, that's what that's what hurts. You know, what I mean, it's like because there's it's like it's like blindsiding someone. You know, what I mean, it's like if you're doing this and you're doing it for good to help someone, and they're giving you the positive feedback that you're helping them. How do I know I'm hurting them if I'm getting the positive feedback that I'm helping them? You know what I mean? And I'm, and, and they're telling me that. You know what I mean? Like you said, she said, yes, she, it feels better, but she then wasn't feeling better. You know what I mean? So how do I know that? You know what I mean? Like, unless, so if you... I think you, emotional pain, though, is, is different. And I think you keep talking about helping the physical pain, right, the cause right. that brought her there. Right, 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 right. But emotionally, she's not getting help from this. She may be getting some physical, because you are doing, in part, the treatment. Mm -hmm. Her pain is somewhere else. Well, if, yes, I mean, if, if, if she thought that I was being inappropriate, I could see how that would be painful, you know what I mean? And, and I don't want that, you know what I mean? That's why I'm trying to be um, uh, 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 
you know, you can you can explain something and then go ahead and and treat it. And, and but if you're actually talking to them while you're doing it, it's better than in my mind than saying you know that because I'm trying to get real time feedback. Not here's the what I'm going to do. Then I go to do something different. If I'm actually touching the patient and asking for feedback while I'm touching the patient too, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? That's that allows for in my mind more you know like feedback. Then here's all the information. Then you stop the information. You go do it, and then you don't get any feedback. So if, if, if a patient time stopped feedback, you and said this feels inappropriate, yes, then of course I would adjust. I'd say I apologize, and I'd try and explain more. Okay, you know this is what this is what I'm doing. This is the reason why you know what I mean that I'm doing what I'm doing. Okay, so you're going to you're going to you're going to adjust and and and, and, and explain. You know what I mean? So, yeah, if anyone says that it hurts or, you know, I feel uncomfortable, you know, then I say, okay, let's try a different way. You know what I mean? Let's, let's, let's do this and I'll explain this, you know, to them. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I've done a lot of work with them. Um, um, uh, you know, like I'm trying to also, like, if, if there was patients that I think need it more, I use a pelvic floor therapist. You know, it's like if, you need, if they need that type of help, I have a, a pelvic floor therapist that I'll send patients to. You know, for there's there was one patient who came up from that has uh, and she had this problem with her. This was just in the past few months, and it's like you know you're a peer, aren't you? You know, because gymnasts pee a lot. You know, they have weak pelvic floor, you know, and so, and so you, we're always working like, okay, you gotta learn how to use your pelvic floor to squeeze to help with the core. It's like the floor to the core. But anyways, um, um, so I was like, you know, you have no tone down here. You know what I mean? Are you up here? And she goes, yes. And so I had her go to a therapist and, and get intravaginal and intrarectal work. You know, the, the pelvic floor, I mean, intravaginal, not intrarectal, but intravaginal work. And her, her whatchamacallit, um, um, uh, spasms, her, her calmness went away. You know, it made it like change to begin. It made a big difference for her. You know, but that's that. That's when I use other therapists to help with that. Okay, because that can make a difference. Okay, but that's that's when I use those those uh, uh, pelvic floor, the physical therapists that that have training in pelvic floor work. You know. So do you stay in contact with a lot of your patients after treatment? A lot of my patients, yeah. You know what I mean? Over the years, because you're you're. Um, you know, they'll come back, you know, I'll see them again and, and for a different injury or, you know what I mean, yeah. I, I, Do you I, initiate a lot of the contact with them? No, 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 no. I never initiate, the, they, they initiate that, the contact. Okay. Um, I don't really have any other questions okay. right now. Okay. Um, okay. What's the best number to call you if I need to? Let me give you myself. And if what you Information, like I said, I, I, I think that the dean will probably want to speak with you soon. Right. right, 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 right. Um, not something I can control. Right, right, right. right, right. Um, okay. But I may have more questions from you, and then I'll get a hold of you. Okay. So I have to call your home or your home. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Well, thank you. I, I, I don't know what else to say, but I'm not trying to hurt anyone, and I, and, and I must obviously not be doing a good job of explaining things, and I really feel like I'm trying to real time explain things, and it's obviously must not have worked, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, but that's, that's the best I can say is that I'm trying to get real time, and if I'm offending someone, I would expect that as I'm treating someone, they would say that hurts or that makes me feel uncomfortable, you know what I mean? And then you adjust and say, okay, I'm sorry, let me explain it to you, and you adjust. But if they, if they give you positive feedback, then you think you're doing something that's, that's helpful. But so, all right, we'll think. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Sorry. All right, well, have a good day. Thanks, you too.